Hello, my name is Stefan Fuant and I am a technical trainer and JNCP proctor with Juniper Networks Education Services. In today's Learning Byte, we're going to talk about a couple of useful tools and techniques that you can use not only in your day-to-day -day experience working with Junos, but also something that could become extremely valuable when preparing for JNCIE exams. Uh, the tips and techniques that I'm about to show you here can really make a huge difference when streamlining the configuration across uh, a large number of devices. Now, obviously, you guys are probably already familiar with the techniques such as load, merge, terminal, relative, uh, and also things like uh, just doing a show, pipe, display, set, and using copy and paste techniques to paste configurations from one device to another. However, there's some real deficiencies and some cons to using those approaches. Uh, it makes it a little bit cumbersome when you have to uh, copy and paste multiple configuration changes at a time. Uh, we'll go ahead and take a look at the uh, downsides of using such approaches, and then I'm going to introduce to you guys the load patch terminal, which is really a technique that can really streamline the, the whole operation. And you'll see how this is a really far superior in certain uh, certain uh, environments to using uh, some of the other techniques. So let's take a look. We've got a, a baseline configuration here. What I'd like to do is I'd like to make a number of changes across this particular device. So we've got a SRX A1 here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, uh, add an NTP server. Uh, let's go ahead and also add an SNMP trap server. Uh, let's go ahead and also let's modify the routing uh, options level of the hierarchy and add a uh, autonomous system number. And last but not least, let's go ahead and uh, create a BGP group in here so that we can peer with our route reflector. All right, so naturally you can see that we've made quite a few configuration changes uh, on this device, and we could easily summarize those by just simply doing a show pipe compare. And here you can see, obviously, we've made changes to the NTP level of the hierarchy, the SNMP level of the hierarchy, uh, routing options, as well as BGP. Now, a lot of you guys would probably take the approach, if we wanted to copy these configurations over to, say, another device, um, a lot of you guys would probably take the approach of maybe just doing something along the lines of doing a show, uh, protocol BGP, maybe using the display set option, uh, and maybe we could do the same thing for our uh, NTP. Okay, let's take a look at our uh, SNMP configuration. And you can see here what we could do basically to copy and paste this onto another device is simply copy these lines. Uh, we might maybe use a notepad or something along those lines so that we could uh, consolidate everything inside a, uh, a notepad. But uh, you can see that this is obviously a little bit cumbersome to do, especially if we have a large configuration that spans across multiple levels of the, of the hierarchy. Um, you know, we've got to basically go to each one of those levels and just do a display set and copy and paste those into our notepad. Uh, once we've got it in the notepad, we can manipulate it and make our changes, and then finally we could take that information and we could paste it into uh, a second router. Okay, so no, no rocket science there, but obviously it's probably not the, the best technique. Uh, also, the other approach would simply be to do like a show protocol, BGP. Uh, you could naturally just copy this level of the hierarchy, and then we could go over to our second device, and we could simply do a... Um, you know, edit protocols, BGP, you could do a load merge terminal, relative, paste that in. Uh, once again, this is still something that you're going to have to do individually for every single level of the hierarchy, and it's really uh, quite cumbersome to use such an approach. So what we'd really rather have is a technique that will allow us 
to easily capture all the configuration changes uh, on our first device and simply copy those configuration changes over to the second device. And fortunately for, uh, for us, there actually is uh, a technique. And first and foremost, the way that we're going to take advantage of such a technique is by easily summarizing the changes. And so I, I already showed you how you can do that um, quite efficiently. We can simply do a show pipe compare. Uh, we can see all of the changes here. Now, wouldn't it be nice if we can simply capture this right here, these deltas, and easily paste them into the second device? Uh, and the great news is that, fortunately, there is such a technique. So let's go ahead and we'll just copy uh, this configuration snippet with these deltas. We'll go to our second device. And what we're going to use here is the load patch terminal command. Now, when we do that, you can see it's asking us to pipe in input. Uh, so let's go ahead and just paste uh, the buffer. And you can see it takes that actual output with the deltas. And you can see, essentially, when we do a show pipe compare on SRX A2, it has actually taken those configuration changes. Uh, so literally everything that we did on the first device, we were easily able to paste into the second device. We can see you know, BGP. Our stanzas there, everything looks really, really good right now. So that's exactly what we want. It's a very, very effective technique, uh, especially useful, for example, in JNCIE exams when you need to configure uh, a large number of options across uh, multiple devices. This is going to be something that can really streamline your configuration. Now, another uh, place where load patch terminal is, is really effective is um, let's say, for example, we've got these changes that we made. Uh, let's say we go ahead and we commit them. Now, have you ever wanted to maybe perform a rollback uh, to a previous uh, rollback file, but instead of rolling back everything, maybe you just wanted to roll back a portion of the configuration? Well, once again, load patch terminal can come to our rescue because we can see here um, we obviously have committed these changes, um, and we could see what those changes are in uh, relation to maybe rollback one, for example. We could do a show, uh, show pipe, compare, rollback one, and we could see those deltas, what exists in our uh, current configuration that didn't exist in the previous active configuration. Now, obviously, we could do a rollback one, but what essentially is going to happen is it's going to roll back all of this configuration. Let's say we simply wanted to roll everything back um, except for the BGP configuration. We want to keep that in, but we want to take everything else uh, everything else out. So what we could do, and once again, we could just do a show pipe compare, uh, roll back uh, one. What we're going to do here is we're going to copy this configuration, and we're going to put that inside a notepad. And now what we're going to do essentially here is we're going to change the things that we want to remove into minuses. So instead of them being plus signs, we can change them to minus signs. Uh, in fact, we don't want to roll back the BGP section, so we're going to just take this out altogether. Uh, and instead of me manually going through and changing all these pluses to minuses, what we could simply do is we could do like a find and replace in our favorite text editor of choice. So anywhere where we see a plus sign, we'll simply change that to a minus sign. You can see essentially now what we've done is we've changed those portions of the config into configs that we'd like to remove. So let's now go ahead and let's take this configuration right here. Let's copy that. So now it's in our buffer. And now over here, um, let's do a load patch terminal once again. And this time we'll go ahead and paste that into our buffer here. Control D to exit out, and you can see when we do a show pipe compare, what we've essentially done is we've deleted the NTP section, the SNMP section, and any of the configuration options under edit routing options. So now if we look at our uh, SNMP level of the hierarchy, notice there's nothing in there anymore because we effectively deleted that from our candidate configuration. So load patch terminal, something that you can use to easily copy configurations from one device to another, but it's also something that you can do uh, to assist in, in a partial rollback, for example. All right, so that covers load patch terminal. Now let's take a look at our second knob, which is the replace pattern. 
Uh, replace pattern is something that uh, some of you guys might not ha be familiar with. It's a very, very effective technique uh, for essentially changing uh, any line in our configuration to something else. Um, you're basically just looking for a text string and you're going to replace that text string with something else. It's essentially just a very, very simple find and replace pattern. Uh, and where this might be useful is, for example, let's say we've got an interface. Um, so we've got interface uh, Giggy002 right here. You can see that we've defined that in our configuration. And when we go take a look at our protocols, we can also see that uh, Giggy002 is referenced in several portions of the hierarchy. So let's say for whatever reason, we actually want to move the configuration from Giggy002 to uh, Giggy005. Um, so what we could do is we could simply go under edit interfaces and we could do a rename command and you could do a rename Giggy002 uh, to uh, Giggy005. Uh, that will effectively change that configuration. Uh, but then, of course, you can see that what we have to do is we have to go under Edit Protocols uh, OSPF, we've got to go under RSVP, we've got to go under MPLS, and we've also got to change that interface from Giggy002 to Giggy005. And so it's really, really unwieldy, very cumbersome for us to go, have to go into each one of those uh, levels of the hierarchy to simply make this change. So replace pattern is a much more effective technique. Let's take a look at it. Uh, so once again, look at our interfaces. We've got Giggy002 there, and we've also got under protocols, Giggy002 listed in multiple levels of the hierarchy. So here what we're going to do is we're going to simply do a replace pattern. Now one thing to keep in note about replace pattern is that the replace pattern function will only work at whatever level of the hierarchy that you're at and anything below that hierarchy level. So if we want to make the changes to the interfaces stanza as well as to multiple levels under edit protocols, we've got to be at the root level of the I hierarchy, which is where I am right now. All right, so I'm going to simply say replace pattern Giggy002 with Giggy005. And now when we look at our interfaces level of the hierarchy, we can see that Giggy002 was changed to Giggy005. Also, when we look at our protocols, we can see that Giggy002 was changed in multiple levels of the hierarchy. So once again, this is a very, very effective technique. Uh, it's very useful for changing uh, a large swath of configuration across a wide number of levels of the hierarchy. Very, very effective if you need to make a change and you want to streamline that configuration. Uh, so that pretty much covers a load patch terminal as well as the replace pattern functions. I hope that uh, you learned something valuable in today's Learning Byte, and thanks for joining us. Goodbye. Visit the Juniper Education Services website to learn more about courses. View our full range of classroom, online, and e-learning courses. Learning paths, industry segment and technology-specific training paths. Juniper Networks Certification Program the ultimate demonstration of your competence. And the training community. From forums to social media, join the discussion.